Welcome back, Notre Dame fans, to um, my first game recap. This one I had to do. Normally, I'm not going to do a whole lot of these, but this was a huge game for Notre Dame against Pitt. 80-72 win, their third straight win in the ACC. Puts them in a really good position uh, if they can win these next four games or a couple of them. Um, yeah, my predictions, a lot of them came true, unlike the Georgia Tech game. Um, Champagny, the guy I said to watch out for, had 20. His shot's amazing. He was getting open all night. Um, Xavier Johnson had 17. I believe his name's Tony McGowan. He had 15. Um, but those were their only players in double figures. Once they went, once Mike Bray went to his zone, um, it was pretty much over. Pitt can't, couldn't do anything. Notre Dame went out to a bunch of huge runs. Um, it's exactly what I wanted to see from this team. Uh, gives me a lot of confidence going into a winnable game Clems against Clemson on Sunday, which I might be in attendance for. I don't know. Um, I'll put a preview out in a couple days for that. Um, but TJ Gibbs had one of his better performances with 21. He might be playing the best basketball of his Notre Dame career these last couple of games. I think he scored 20 points in like four straight games or something. Really good. Uh, Mooney had 17. Um, not a bad performance from him either. Durham had 11, and Nate Lecheski had 11. Um, we didn't see a whole lot from the sophomore class, but I did like that him and Prentice Hub were shooting really efficient in the first half. Um, Dan Good only had six, but obviously you can't expect all those guys to play well on the same night. Um, Prentice Hub did show that he can hit the big shot today. Um, I thought he played pretty well, one of his better games. Well, not one of his better games, but it was nice to see him be efficient at home, which he hasn't been able to do. Um, yeah, they scored 80 points again. This team's on a roll offensively. Um, really happy going into these games hot. They played Clemson, who's a winnable game, Virginia, who's unranked, so they're a winnable game. Duke, which if they can win these next two games, that game will barely even matter. Then they're going to play UNC. That's going to be a tough game with Cole Anthony coming back. Uh, but that's still a very winnable game when NC was at, when UNC was at full strength. We almost beat them. Just let it slip away in the last couple minutes. Um, so, yeah, we just got to um, win at least two or three of these next four games, and we're in a decent spot. Um, we just got to get a winning record in the ACC. The tournament committee is going to see that um, – that all our losses are like three point losses. Um, so yeah, we just gotta win these games down the stretch. Not too hard of a schedule. We're gonna play Wake again, Clemson, all these teams. Um, but one of the most exciting times of the year right now, best basketball they've been playing all year. Um, the, the tournament hopes are back. Um, if they can win this Clemson game, I'm all in on them. Um, the potential is definitely there, so hopefully they can uh, make a run. Thank you guys for watching. Go Irish. I'll be back with the preview soon.